What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Weekly Monster Z Podcast. I'm your host, Shadow Owl, and today we'll be covering some fan suggestions on both the group wall and Discord, as well as the ether reels that Poe mentioned on Twitter. So our first fan monster was created by Alex Zia. Sorry if I pronounced it wrong. I will leave the name in the description. They created a three-headed water Cerberus Hydra. I know I said a whole bunch of crap right there, you know. They didn't really give me a name for it, so kind of had to do it on my own. Um, I, I like the color scheme, how it's different shades of blue. The one looks like maybe a sea marine, not sea marine, aquamarine blue. Um, the, the color scheme on the horns is actually, even though it's a completely different shade of blue, it might be a mixture of teal and sky, but it looks amazing. Um, other than that, the typing of it, or category, I'll, I'll use categories for now since there's no official naming of this. Um, the naming of it could be uh, aqua and a shadow mixture. Not, not really sure. It's definitely going to be aqua. But whatever, if there is a second category for it, then that's that. It probably would be Shadow. Alright. The second monster that we have here is created by EXP. Um, I, I like to call this Polygon Man. I know how bad of a name that sounds, but it's the only name... That I thought of at the time. Like there is dark drill, but it's kinda kinda cliche. I as as EXP was making this and posting various like snippets of it on the Discord, I it was actually one of the first monsters that I was watching intentively because I was actually interested in it. There's not there aren't too many designs that I'll at this week that piqued my interest right away as much as this did because i was i was like this is pretty simple i'm i'm sure it's it could become a lot better but you know exp did this when he was kind of bored so for being a him bored it was actually really good i like how on the arms or drills part of it sticks out like an actual drill so it could be a metal type or like well, yeah, I'd, I'd go with it being a metal type. Now, if you would give it a second... Oh, I keep saying types. If you give it, a, like, a metal category, and if you want to give it a second category, that's up to you. I I don't think it needs a second category. Uh, I'm actually not entirely sure if that red circle on its head is actually its eye or not. If it is, that's... A neat looking eye if not then it could be like a death beam or some sort it's it's whatever it could be you know all right and the third fan suggestion we have here is created by logo no that's the wrong one it's created by l atom or l 8 m depending on how you pronounce it and they have bellatrix and the lightning and they I'll use the typing that they have here and they classified it as a poison electric and it the, the so for Billetric it's like a shot like a mini taser is what it reminds me of like a slimy mini taser and I'm I assume it'd be no more than like a foot big if that and then you have the lightning which looks like a giant like bull I'm but the horns the horns on the top on this head make it give me like a bull impersonation but a gi so I'm assuming it's a giant bull because it has three I think those are either radio towers or like 
phone towers or or power it could be power lines just but three of them just come out of its back so and it how the scaling on this design looks like it's i'd assume be at least several hundred feet tall since it's making those towers on its back look puny in comparison although that could be just like position scaling and for the shine well i guess it's, it's shinier alternate version for bellatrix it's a gooey looking purple reminds me of a plum and then for belightning you sort of have that muck covered purple which Getting getting a little close to uh, copyrights here, since you know Muck was also like a sludge monster. I know Muck didn't have giant like power lines coming out of its back, but it was a purple sludge monster, so it's a little a little close to comfort for there. All right, so I wanted to do three designs from. The discord and try to find two recommend like fan suggestions on the group wall but when i was searching through the group wall most of the time it was either garbage talking about rip pfe talking about hating nintendo for shutting down pfe or like i'm leaving the group because pfe is gone or Where's my refund because I did all that hard work and I spent all that money and now the game's gone and I want my money. You know what? If you want money for, you know, pay, if you want a refund, then you truly don't really care about PFE. You just, you're in it to have a little bit of fun. You're in it for yourself, which I understand. You're playing a game. You're playing to have fun. But... You don't really care that the game got shut down. You just want your money. And if you don't get your money, you're not here to support the net. You're not here to support Monster Z. You're not here to support any other games that Poe does. You're just there for yourself at this point. So, I'm kind of glad you don't get your refund. Because you're not there to support the people. The people that make the game. The staff members. All, everybody. So, anyways... The only decent fan suggestion I could find in the group all was from Peter121212. 12, 12, 12, 12. And Peter says, I got a perfect monster for Monster Z, which has a little dino and the chameleon hybrid. It can camouflage and do all that stuff. Then it evolves into a small kaiju and chameleon. Then it's kind of beast now. Well, rip grammar at the end, but that's fine. Uh, so I'm gonna do a little spin on that. So I I I like the whole chameleon look on it, and instead of it being a dinosaur chameleon hybrid, just make it more of a monster chameleon in which, yeah, you can have it look all cute and cuddly on its first form. And then when it mutates, it's all like jacked up and looks like vicious at its final form. So, yeah, a small kaiju chameleon would be its like second form, pretty much. If you want a third form, it's up to you. You know, you could have it like change over time. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't make this like a big one, but like have it be like. A quick, quick chameleon, you know, pretty much focusing on that. And we're not, we're going to stay away from Kecleon, all right? Because I know Kecleon had the, had the ability to change types after it got attacked, but that was only for battle. But, so Kecleon was only during, like, battle. So, in Monster Z, you could have, like, since since we're re since we're supposedly reusing the old PFE map, and certain areas of the map could harm certain types, and also didn't harm other types. For instance, the volcano didn't harm fire types. The chameleon 
would be able to change types out of battle. And then when it got into like those type restraints, the restraining areas, it wouldn't take any damage from it. And then you could, you could even have, it doesn't even need like a plate or anything like that. It just changes that will. Or you could go with the camouflage aspect of it in which, again, you would remove the nameplate, well, the name tag of the user, and they'd be able to hide in plain sight without anybody finding them, although they're not immune to damage. Um, that's, well, those are, that's it for fan suggestions for this week. Next week, I'll probably do a lot more fan art from the Discord if I can't find anything good from the group wall, I was rather disappointed on the group wall, but it is what it is. Um, so next topic is the ether reels that Poe mentioned on the Discord, not the Discord. Well, he did talk about it briefly on the Discord, but what Poe mentioned on Twitter. So we currently have one ether reel revealed, and it's... It reminds me of that one guy from, I forget what his name is, but that one guy from, I think it was Paper Mario. He, it looks like a, yeah, it pretty much looks like a Paper Mario boss. So, it's, you know, I guess another knock on Nintendo. But, you know, doesn't, it does, it's not really a knock on Nintendo since... Since it's, you know, its own sort of thing. Not not really sure what uh, what to do about it. So, I also, oh yeah. So he also mentioned that, brought up a guy earth. So, it seems like Poe will be doing types. But, I'm just looking at this. It just reminds me a lot of the Adam Man toys. But so he has uh, he has a new type and he calls it the Terra type. I'm guessing it could be like a ground equivalent. And so the first ethereal is called like well I don't, I don't hold on I'm trying to see if I there was a name for this. Uh. No, I don't. I don't see a name on this. Let me know down in the comments if you know the name of it. But anyways, what I want to talk about. So, for for Ether Reels, since they're obviously like the specials, the special legendaries or things like that, a uh, Monster Z. It's it makes you wonder what they came from, since we don't really have much lore on Monster Z. Or any like big background information, so I'll just spit out Spitfire some some of the background theories that I have for Ether Reels. So the first one was that Ether Reels were created in laboratories, and there was this evil scientist that pretty much set them free. And that's like some of them have decided to wreak havoc on the world. And other them, other versions of them have just like gone into hiding to be never seen in, by anyone ever again. So we don't really know who the evil scientist is. We could get into it in another podcast if Poe d- does decide to like. Tell us a little bit more about the ether reels. Um, the second theory I have on them is that there are pretty much our gods or creators that each ether reel resembles a certain part of the map in which it was their handiwork that created that part of the map. It's it's similar to how certain Pokemon resemble certain parts of Earth, for instance. Oh yeah, Arceus created us all, but like you mentioned Arceus created us all and then emotions and whatnot weren't made until Azelf, Mesprit, and Yuxi were a thing. So where do you go from there for? It's it's kind of 
confusing in a way since we only have one ethereal. And uh, so our third theory is that they're they're similar to Deoxys, in which there are monsters that came to this planet from another world, and it would help explain later on why there's so when players actually become them. Why are there so many of these ethereals that they're so special? Well, because there's more than one of their species. They're, like, this planet could be a tourist attraction for them. So they're coming here to learn about us. And some of the dumb ones learn to get caught by the hunters who have DNA extraction. So that we could use them for our own benefits. You know? It's not, it's not too out of the question but it's a possibility and then my fourth th fourth and final theory is that ethereals were monsters that came from a freak accident and had a special mutation that completely changed their genetic makeup so say you have a porcupine based monster over there and he's you know done all his final mutations and whatnot and he can't mutate anymore boom asteroid hit him right and all this radiation occurred on his body and instead of him becoming so i'm not saying that they would all become nuclear types because you know obviously they wouldn't need to become nuclear types but boom all this radiation occurs boom all this genetic makeup happens boom now complete and since ethereals can evolve well not evolve can mutate boom you pretty much have a brand new monster and no you wouldn't have the same level or anything like that you'd have you pretty much start off at level one since you you're everything that you previously knew is gone and Although it's, it you still like have the same base like oh yeah I I was originally the porcupine, but you don't remember any. It's like pretty much having a new life. You don't remember anything from your old one, but there's like deja vu. But it doesn't mean anything in this. So those are my four theories on ethereals. As the Monster Z progress continues and we get new information, we'll be able to continue on this topic and things like that. Let me know let me know what your guys' theory on Etherreals is in the comments down below. So that way we can, you know have I share block like bounce off each other's ideas and come up with better ones. Although <coughs> it's po <po> <coughs> confirms anything, you know, then we could actually do something. But for right now, we're only theorizing, and that, folks, is a game theory. No, no, it's not a game theory. It's a shadow theory, but we're not doing that. We're doing good stuff. So if if we actually have more ethereals come out like within the next couple of days then i will talk about the um what's it called then i will talk about the ethereals and i will go into a little bit more i'll try to go a little bit more into their backstory and maybe talk about you know the evil scientists if we end up going with that theory because actually yeah I actually do like that theory the most because if Poe does change the map, which he's only going to change small parts of it, he could have, since he did have those test tubes down in the basement or laboratory maze, you could have the ether reels inside of them. You know, bada boom, bada bing, problem solved, and now they have a purpose. You know, I'm an idea man, came out with an idea. Boom, million dollars right there. Or, or a million Robux right there. But, you know, could it give purpose to them? Uh, I do actually, hold on. So before I end this, 
I do want to hold, well, next week, I guess, I'll, I'll give a little to you. Next week, I'll be featuring my own monster. That it's, it's, I'm not saying it's going to be added into the game, but I, I drew a monster and whatnot, and I'd like to talk about it in the next episode. So... I, I might tease a little bit on Twitter, so make sure to follow me on Twitter at Shadow Isle 16 so that you guys could possibly see it or find out when I have another video by hitting that bell notification after you subscribe. And for now, let's keep on theorizing and, you know, having... Well, I don't want to have too high of an expectation, but let's try to make Monster Z as cool as the game as it co possibly can be, since for right now, the sky is the limit, because, you know, there's a flying dragon named Umbris, <coughs> you know, sky is the limit, but anyways, see you guys, ciao.